Good morning, wherever landing here. I am finally for strength and stretch. Oh, all right. All right, one up, one down. I wanted to play a different playlist on that same CD, but it just wasn't going to behave today. There we go. And I broke a microphone right before class, so I had a quick switch path. Four, three, two. Now toes forward here, toes. Bring those arms out. One, two, three, pull them back. One, two, three, pull them back. Good. One, two, three, pull them back. One, two, three, pull them back. Good. One, two, three, pull them back. One more. One, two, Three, I know you just wanted to do this, right? Pull them back. Pull. 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 So glad you chose to join me today. I hope you're doing well this morning. Good way to start your day with a good workout. Four more. Three. Two. Oh, they got heavy, didn't they? Yes, they did. Now, tap those arms, swing it. And you thought, oh, that's so easy, until we held them up there for a while. Lift those heels, stretch out those legs. Good. I've got some new things for us to do today, some different things we haven't done in a little while. That's always fun, something different. Four more. Three. Two, let's bring them forward. Kick them, push it. Kick and push it. Good, give it a kick. And you're going to kick those shoes right off your feet. Lift them up. Same kicking feet. If you feel a little unstable today, you can always tap those toes. Now, see, we don't have mat yoga today. I might take us one minute over. Seeing I was one minute late. Cross the body right here. Same kicking feet. Twist it out. Wake up that spine. And if you can't stay for that one minute, I understand. You'll just miss the joke at the end. You don't want to miss that. Four. Three. Two. Last one. Good. Now let's shrug those shoulders. Three, two, now slow it down. Let's roll them. Tap and roll. Good. Exaggerate and roll. Make it big. Is everybody warmed up enough? I hope so. All right, now I want you to grab your strap. Okay? Bring your strap right here in front. Now, we're going to do something today that involves throwing the strap. And you're thinking, what, right? So I want you to keep marching. We're going to keep warming up at the bottom. All we're going to do, we're just going to practice this because we're going to put it into, into play here in just a moment. I just want you to throw it, catch it. It's a little throw. I'm not really even throwing it big. But I want you to get used to the feeling of it because when I practiced it, I had a hard time with it. So just throw it, catch it. Good, throw it, catch it. Good, so now you kind of got the feel for what it feels like. Now that you know what it is, right? Let's do four more. Three, we're going to put it into practice. Two, last one. Good, now hold that strap right here. We're going to squat, lift, throw, pull, pull. Good, squat, lift, throw, pull, pull. Can you get it? Squat, lift, throw. It's not a big throw, right? Right? We're not throwing it far or anything. Just a little up and down and pull and pull. Squat, lift, throw, pull, pull. Squat, lift, throw. Well, that's a wimpy throw. Pull. Good. Squat, lift, throw, pull. See, the more, the more we do it, the better you're getting, right? Squat, lift, throw, pull, pull. Squat, lift, throw, pull. Let's do two more big throws, the best that you can. Squat, lift, throw, pull, pull. 
squat, lift, throw, pull, and pull. Good job. All right, now get on the horse. Big step out. Nice big strap here. We're going to work our tummy muscles. Good. Rock it like a clock, right? We're going to go around like a clock. A little pull, a little pull. Working those tummy muscles, those oblique muscles, the muscles on the side. Good. Rock them over. Rock them. Little pulls. I forgot my pulls. Now we have to do more because I forgot. Oh, what is it? Right? We all get punished for the problems of the one, uh, four, three, two, and only because these were super fun. Let's come back to that squat lift pull for eight. So just so we don't forget it. So it's squat, throw, pull, pull, squat, lift, throw, pull, pull, pull. squat, lift, throw, pull, pull. Here's four right here. Throw, pull, pull, squat, lift, throw, pull, pull. Only three more, and I won't make you do it again. Throw, pull, pull. Two more. Squat, lift, throw, pull, pull. Last one. Squat, lift, throw, ah, pull, pull. Good job. All right, roll those shoulders back. Take that strap, put it underneath your arms like it's a coat. Right underneath those arms. So we're going to stay with those squats, working those legs today a little bit more. So we're going to squat, come up on those toes, and pull. Good. So I pull myself right up. There we go. Take a moment. Slow it down. Breathe. Slow and control. Good. Pull. Up on those toes. Now guess what? The toes are a balance component. You don't like how that feels? You don't have to do it. Right? You could just do the squat with a pull and no toes, no heel lift. Good. Four more. Three. Two. And last one. Good. All right. Let's take it out. Let's just pull here. Pull. Skim the water with that strap. Pull and skim. Pull and skim. Good. Make sure there's some tension in that. Your arm should want to snap back, right? Because that tension's in the strap, but you're not going to let it because you're strong and you're in control. Good. Skim it over that water. A little twist, working those tummies just that little bit. For four, three, two, last one. Good. Now right here, pull, pull, marching feet, pull. Pull. Good. Working some posture muscle there. There should be tension enough that it wants to snap back at you. Four more. Three. Two. Oh, we need to give those arms a break, don't we? Last one. Ah, give them a break. Take that strap out from where it was. So I want you to take the strap and we're going to step on it on one foot. Um, you pick, we're going to do both sides, so um, I'm going to do my outside foot here first. But I want you to be far enough away from the chair that you can move the inside leg and close enough to the chair that you can grab it if you need it, okay? So it's a delicate balance. All right, so easy with the arm, we're just going to pull up. What becomes more complicated is the foot. I've been trying to work a lot on agility drills, moving those feet. So here it is, right here, step, step, then to the back. Good, so we're going all the way around. In, in balance class, we've been doing the clocks. This is a clock with a little bit of uh, arm movement. Working that bicep, good. Step it forward, side, and back. You don't like the way it feels, here's an option, tap and tap, or just do the arm. You pick it. Let's do one more because my arm's getting tired. I bet yours is too, because guess what? For each one we did, we did three bicep curls. All right, let's take it, give it a shake. Let's do that other side. Good, being mindful that we need the chair, it's there. We drop the strap and we grab it, okay? 
Here we go. Side, side, or front side, back. Good. Front, side, back. Front, side, back. Remember, you can do the taps if you don't like the way this feels. Good. Otherwise, you can add that weight shift. It's a whole weight shift. Shift it. Shift it. Shift it. It's a good way to put balance in with strength. One more. Good job. Woo. All right, take that strap off. Give those arms a shake and a wiggle. All right, I really love this next one. Okay? So that strap is right up here. We're going to make, I'm going to wrap just a little bit. So I'm going to pull here. And I'm going to add to it. So it's a step, tap, oh, did I have that wrong? Yeah, it is wrong, sorry. So step, lift, tap. Step, lift, tap. Same side, same side, leg, arm, same side. Step, tap, lift, punch. All at the same time. Option right here. So if our lifters, if our hips don't feel good today, then we keep a tap on the floor. Punch it. Punch it. Good. Four more. Three. Two. Last one. Good. Did you start to really feel those in that hip? Let's do the other side. So we step, lift, tap. Step, lift, tap. Good. Lift and tap. Lift and tap. Good job. Do you have one side that is a little harder than the other? I do. This is my harder side. This leg does not like this kind of move motion. It gets a little crabby, doesn't like to lift as high, but that's okay. We can still work it and not hurt it. I'm not doing it a, a big extension. I'm just doing it until it feels like I'm working it but not hurting. Let's do two more, and that's what you should do too if you have something that's just a little uncomfortable. Try it and see, see, and just do it a little bit less maybe. All right, so that's all I have for new things today, but I thought those were kind of fun. Uh, so something new and different. Let's put that strap away and, um, Go ahead and come to um, your chair. Let's have a seat. All right. All right. Let's just do 10 sit and stands to get those legs nice and strong. So here we go. 10 sit and stands. If you need the chair, push on it. Do every other if you need to. If you don't like these at all, please just don't do them. You do elephants where you push and pull up like this. Or you can just sit and smile at the camera. There we go. Or at the TV. Here we go for 10. Nine, eight, push through those heels, it's gonna help. Seven, six, we can do it. If you're with me, stick with me, we can do it. Only four more, four more. Three, I'm letting you do the arms today, that helps, right? Two, and, whew, last one, good. Oh. Let's take out some of the burn and just rock those hips just a little bit. Good. All right. Very good. Let's grab one weight. Just that one weight. Good. Sit. I'm going to sit side because I know a lot of you have arms in your chairs. We're sitting up nice and tall. We're going to bring that arm right here. Going for that lawnmower pull. Pull that lawnmower. Pull. Good. With all this rain, boy, that grass needs to be mowed a lot. There we go. Four more. Three. Two. Last one. Good. We're going to do it again, but we're going to change it a little bit. So we're going to go down, lift, kick back, bring it in. Slow it down. Down, lift, kick back, bring it in. Down, lift. Kick it back, bring it in. Down, lift. Kick it back, bring it in. Down, lift. Kick it back, and in. Down, lift, back, 
two more. Down, lift, kick it back, bring it in. Down, lift, kick back, bring it in. Now, same arm right here. Good. I want you to sit up nice and tall. We're going to lift it out for eight, seven, six, five, four. Bend the elbow if you need to. Three, two, last one. Same arm right here. Punch it forward. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. And last one. Did we tire that arm out? We used all the muscles around that whole arm. All right, so sitting up nice and tall, we start with that lawnmower pull. Here we go, pull. Good, pull. I have not had the pleasure of using our new lawnmower yet, but we did get a new one. And we sold the old one. We sold our old junky lawnmower for 50 bucks on, on uh, Facebook Marketplace. I couldn't believe it, but the guy said he'd fix it. All right, two more. Last one. All right, so sit up tall. We're going to go a little slower. So it's a lawnmower pull with a kickback. Good, lawnmower pull with a kickback. The guy was thrilled to death to have a Sears Craftsman lawnmower that still ran with a broken wheel. He didn't care. So there we go. High class problems right there. There we go. All right. Two more. There's one. Last one right here. Now we're only going to do eight of these because this is hard. We're working that outer part of that arm right here. Bend the elbow if you need to. There's eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Last one. Now we punch that forward. Eight. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, last one. Good job. All right. Let's go ahead and sit forward in the chair. Keep your weight. If you wanted to grab another weight, if you had really light weights, you could grab both of them and hold them together in one hand. I'm going to just use this guy. All right. So, this is harder on the heels, on the foot, easier. You choose. Here we go. So we're going to reach forward. Slowly come back. Don't beat me back there. Tap the chair, lift it up. Ooh, tap that chair. Go forward. Good, lift it up. Go forward. And lift it up. Forward and lift it up. Working those tummies nice and slow on the way back there. Good. Now, strong core muscles are important, not just because it looks good, right? We all, none of us really will ever probably have a six pack. I mean, maybe there's a couple of us, but for the most part, this is those get up and go muscles that we need to get out of bed, to get in and out of the car, to get off the commode. These are those muscles right here. Good. And I know you're thinking, well, I'm making it very elementary, right? Because a lot of us, we can do this without any problem. But there are some of us that can't, and as we get older, it gets harder. So the more we do it now, the more we'll be able to do it later. There you go. There's my lecture for today. All right, anybody ready tired of this? Let's do one more. Good job. All right, good job. Let's scoot it back. All right, here we go. Take that weight. We're going to lift those legs, flutter. Let's do a rowing pattern or a figure eight pattern. Good. Figure eight pattern right here. Flutter those legs. I can feel that we did those arms. Can you? Ooh. What's going on with those legs? Come on, legs flutter. Can you lift your thighs a little bit off the chair? Will it work? Let's try, come on. Let's do it together. Oh, lift them up. Lift them up, we can do it. Come on. Four more. Three. 
two, uh oh, keep those legs going, bring those arms right here, lift them on lower, eight, seven, keep those legs going, six, five, four, keep them going, three, two, ah, last one, Whew. good job, okay, that got your heart rate up, didn't it? All right, let's take that ball, let's put it away, all right. So we did the top of the legs, we did the belly muscles, we did all the arms, let's work on the back of the legs right here. So we're going to take that ball, put it on the chair, calf muscle on the ball, foot is flexed, sit up tall, we're just going to do an elementary squeeze right here to squeeze it back, squeeze it back right there, squeeze it. Good, Ooh, I'm still breathing hard, make sure you're breathing, catching your breath. Right? All right, let's add a lift right here, other side. Why? Because it's good for our brain to do two different things, right? It's good for our brain to do that. And we're actually working some muscles and getting a bit of a stretch at the same time. So let's do four more. Three, two, and one. Bring that arm down, pulse it right here. Let's bring the hand up, open and close. Pulse, open and close. Good. To make it even harder, Yell to me in the, to your screen, to the TV screen, what was your phone number growing up? Do you remember what it was? For some of us, it might have been a party line. For some of us, it might have been an actual phone number. Mine was um, 836 and it was a 414 area code. There we go. Four, three, two, Last one, good. Now I want you to squeeze the ball right here. Squeeze it, keep squeezing. Don't let the squeeze go. Lift, lower, lift, lower. Work in the back of that leg. Squeeze it. It's almost like you're trying to use the, the grip that you have here to lift that ball off the chair. Lift it, lower it. Good. When we first moved into my house in the little town I grew up called Larson, Wisconsin, we had a party line. And it was funny to get on the phone sometimes and listen to the neighbor's conversations. I have to use that to be really quiet. Four, three, two. Now keep that squeeze, pulse it. Squeeze, squeeze, pulse, pulse. Good. Four, three, two, and last one. Good. Ooh, stretch that out just a little bit. Good, let's do that other side. So sit up. Are you sitting tall? All right, thigh, calf. We start with the elementary squeeze of the lift here. What's left right here? Good. This side doesn't want to mind as much as the other side, does it? Squeeze. All right. So on this side, we're not going to do a phone number. I want you to yell at me or, t or tell me to the TV, how do you spell the word world? W-O-R-L-D. How do you do it backwards? Can you spell it backwards for me? You got it? Good job. Can you do it again? Good. Memorize that. They might do that during your Alzheimer's test. Four, three, two, last one. Good. All right. Pulse it right here. Open and close that hand. Or they might tell you those three things and then at the end of the visit you got to remember what they are, right? Mm. Good. Picture association helps with that, right? If you associate the what they told you with a picture. And it can be any picture that that helps you remember. It doesn't have to be anything that makes logical sense to anybody but you. Good. Four, three, two, last one. Now keep this squeeze, keep this squeeze. Lift and lower. Lift and lower. Keep that squeeze. Good. Keep it lift and lower. Keep the squeeze. I feel it more on this side than the other. Do you? Or maybe you felt it more on the other side. Good. Four more. Three. Two. Now pulse it. Keep the squeeze. Keep the squeeze. Don't let that squeeze go. Keep it. Good. I bet you're ready for the stretch, aren't you? Me too. Ready? Four, three, 
two, ah, last one, stretch it out. Ah, good, all right. Let's take those, let's come forward, take those hips up nice and wide. And I want you to take your arms and we're gonna push the hips up even further. So just hold it right there, stretching that inner thigh into the hip. Good. Now, think about this. Push your chest a little bit forward. Push your belly a little bit forward. Keep your ear and your shoulders in line. So if you tucked your chin, I want you to lift it up so that your ears and your shoulders are in line with each other. You're looking forward at about two feet ahead of you. Good. Now take your head and turn it to one side. Maybe push even a little bit more and turn and stretch. Bring it back to the center. Turn and stretch. Bring it back to the center and tuck your chin. Keep your chest lifted. Breathe. Good. And bring it up. Yeah. Good. So if you have, um, let's walk those feet in. If you have a lot of neck pain, um, today during chair yoga, we're going to do some new things for uh, neck pain. So if that interests you, please um, tune in at 11 today for chair yoga. Let's take that um, stretch here. We'll do a couple old things. Let's take one head one year over, uh, and we'll do a couple new things, and we're going to use the ball. Um, bring it up. So if you um, if you want to wipe your ball off a little bit, we're actually going to be putting the ball underneath our chin and then tuck it. So if that kind of grosses you out and you need to have a clean ball, um, I'm giving you the next hour to get it done if you want to do it with me. And up we go. Let's scoot forward. Let's reach forward. A nice hinge at the hip, we're going to reach it forward. The exercises are simple and they won't take a lot of time. Um, so I'll probably do them close to the beginning of class if you just want a sample of something like that, something specific and targeted to one area. Take a breath here, relax. Good. Now, let's pull that foot back, sit up nice and tall, hinge at the hip. Everything. When I say hinge, that means we just come forward and everything stays in line. And then we reach for the top of the sock, maybe the bottom of your pants. A lot of us can't touch the top of the shoe because of the way the foot is oriented. And then let's come up, let's do that other side. That leg goes out, oh, we reach for the toe. Wow. Oh. Bring in a nice big deep breath. All right, now sit up tall. Let's put that foot forward, reach it. Good. And then come all the way up. Let's just roll those shoulders back. Exaggerate your roll. So go forward, go back. Let's get a little pelvic tilt in there even. So tilt that pelvis, roll through the belly. There we go. All right, I kept you that extra minute. So here's the, um, here's what I have for today. And these are fun. These are um, church signs, and they were really cute. And I'll, I'll read my favorite one last. This one I thought was, they're all funny. Cremation is your last chance for a smoking hot body. Whoever stole our AC units, keep one. It's hot where you're going. Adam and Eve are the first people to not read the Apple terms and conditions. <laughs> and this one, this one is probably appropriate for us. With all this rain, we need an ark. Fear not. Wait for it. We know a guy. <laughs> Very funny. And this one was my favorite. The fact that there's a highway to hell and only a stairway to heaven says a lot about the anticipated traffic numbers. <laughs> I thought that was so cute. Anyway, thanks so much for joining me. Hope to see you with chair yoga. We're going to do um, a little bit of neck stretching. It's going to help us keep that neck nice and flexible and, and even a little bit of help with that forwardness. We'll talk a little bit more about that forwardness in the neck and how we can um, help with that. So I will see you at 11. Thanks for sticking with me.